Hello and welcome to LiveWire's 2022 Outlook series. I'm Ali Selby and it's a minefield out there. So to help you avoid portfolio bombs, we're joined by nine of Melbourne's best fund managers with their top piece of advice so you can be successful in 2022. I think you need to be really methodical and take the emotion out of your investing. You know, you, you're doing it for practical reasons. You can't let your own feelings, you know, take control of what, what are bad decisions. So that's my sort of number one tip. Just be really methodical and have some humility as well. I think to be um, open-minded and willing to evolve and adapt to the change, because, you know, we've seen that in the last couple of years where there's been massive change and you can't be too firm or fixed in your views. I think you've got to be willing to adjust as the situation arises. And I think there's probably going to be more of that. We've seen it with Omicron recently. I find that really interesting because usually people say, you know, stick to your strategy. Mm. So that's kind of the opposite, it's to be nimble. Yeah, I think you can, you can, you can be nimble within your own strategy. So um, you, you've, got to have your, you've got to know what you're good at and stay to that. And I think going outside that is dangerous. But in terms of the businesses that you own and the assumptions behind why you own them, I think you've got to adjust and adapt to you know, the changing environment. The thing that I think most uh, retail investors should focus on is doing the work. If you do the work, you're less likely to make a mistake. You're not going to invest based on opinion and quickly change your mind if the situation changes. But also, you're more likely to stick to your guns. So if the share price falls or if the market has a wobble, you won't capitulate and sell at the wrong time. So I find when you do the work, you make better decisions and you also don't make bad trading decisions too. I think it'd be wise to be wary of the IPO market. There's the real risk of, of being, people being caught up in the moment or the thrill of the chase and wanting to be involved for no other reason than it, it's a hot story. That for us seems somewhat dangerous and not necessarily fundamental to how one should invest. Part of a recent roadshow I conducted, we did some work on looking at how IPOs have performed over the last four years. And it's somewhat selective, but there was 90 companies that are in our investable universe, small industrial stocks that have necessary liquidity for us to invest in them. And of those 90, the median gain was only 5% over four years. Now that, as a cohort in a strongly rising market, that's a pretty disappointing outcome. I think one of the very important things, and it's very relevant at the moment, is to use numbers over narrative, to not get caught into stock stories, themes, if the numbers and the fundamentals don't stack up, you're putting yourself in a very dangerous place to invest. And we've seen that in the meme stocks as an example. Key tip to be a better investor in 2022 is to think longer term, invest for the longer term. So, so invest for three plus years rather than under 12 months. When you look in the market at the moment, there seems like there's a lot of short term momentum based trading. So people just buying based on short term factors. Uh, and you see that in the short term holding periods of both retail and institutional investors as well. What's one piece of advice that you think can help investors be better in 2022 or more successful? Perhaps? Oh look, it's the same piece of advice we always give. Um, you know, you've got to run your winners and you've got to cut your losers. Um, the reality is the equity market is a lot of fun and, and it's lots of fun because it's got great management teams trying to solve big problems. Uh, the reality is only few of them actually succeed. Um, you know, there's only one Apple, there's only been, <laughs> you know, there's only one Amazon, there's, there's only been one Google. Um, along the way, you're going to make mistakes. It's inevitable. You, it, it's mathematically impossible to get them all right straight away. So just be, be good at recognising what your losers are and cut them quickly. But also, if you've got your winners, run them. Run them for long periods of time because if they're executing, don't, don't get shaken out of them just because you're worried about inflation or or politics or, or geopolitics. It's got nothing to do with that, how that company's executing. And if you can do that well, that's generally the path to good returns. Be careful of the great trends and focus on something that really resonates with you. Something you want to talk about around the barbecue on the weekend to your mates, because then you'll have a bit of confidence when you invest in the company. So uh, I think a great example last year was uh, walking down the aisles of Bunnings, uh, the hardware retailer, and you see all the green Ryobi tools taking over the whole uh, shelf space in there. Uh, Ryobi is owned by a company called Tektronik in Hong Kong, which has been a brilliant performer. So something that resonates with you. Never underestimate the human spirit. 
you know, it's um, because there's a couple of really good examples, I think, over the last few years that I'll point to. One is COVID and just the way human beings have adapted to deal with it. A lot of capital has been deployed, whether it's financial capital, intellectual capital, emotional capital, yeah. to, to deal with that, right? And we're all dealing with it. Um, and that's not to say it's done with. I think we'll have to continue to deal with it. But that's one example. The other one is one that's closer to my heart as a resource analyst, and that is decarbonisation, you know, the, the, the carbon problem that the world faces, and just to sit back and watch the world mobilise around that, to solve that problem, it, it's amazing. You know, the, again, the amount of financial capital, human capital, intellectual capital that's been um, brought to bear to solve that problem. So in times of uncertainty, of, you know, of frustration, just never lose sight of the, you know, the ability of the human spirit to eventually get things done. <laughs> no, that's much deeper than I, what I expected. <laughs> I love that.